Washington drops another game. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the Washington Football Maniacs. Become a maniac today. With that said, let's get on to today's video. So the Washington football team has dropped another game, two in a row they have lost, two to NFC East teams. This is, I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you straight up, uh, the Washington football team's chances of making the playoffs now is very, very, very rare at this point. Um, they still can make the playoffs, but they're going to have to win the rest of their games. And also, likely, they're going to need some help uh, getting into the playoffs. Still possible. They're not mathematically eliminated yet, but things are not looking so well. So, we get into last night's game. Jalen Hurts had a fantastic game. You know, he's a triple threat uh, player. They, you know, the Eagles offense, uh, the offense coordinator certainly played to the strengths of Jalen Hurts. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the what you call option motion type of uh, plays they put in, uh, triple options for Jalen Hurts because he's a threat certainly to take off running. He's a he's a threat for uh, you know the the option pass um, the the option runs and stuff like that and uh, Jalen Hurts last night twenty of twenty six uh, one of those was an interception but it was kind of a fluke interception uh, the ball just uh, they never hit the ground it kind of kicked off of the uh, receiver's foot into the arms of Landon Collins and I tell you. As this game started, you know, it really, everything was going in Washington's favor. You know, they were forcing turnovers. Uh, they were able to get on the board first. They were up 10 to nothing at one point. Uh, but, you know, had the defense honestly kind of crumbled after a while. The Eagles settled down. They started really playing smash mouth football. And honestly, in today's game, a lot of people say this is a quarterback-driven league. This this is a you know pass-happy league. You know, score a lot of points, move the football down the field quickly. But you notice when it comes down to it, the teams that tend to win more than not have strong running games. The Eagles have a strong running game, obviously. Uh, Miles Sanders last night, 18 carries for 131 yards. Uh, Jalen Hurts had some scrambles as well. So, I mean, all together, I wished I would have recorded this, but I think the Eagles had over 500 total yards on offense. I mean, it was just uh, – when you start looking at the stats, it was a little bit more devastating than anything else. I mean – they basically outscored us 27 to 7 after we jumped up on that 10 to nothing lead. So they took over the game. They dominated the game after that first quarter. It was all Eagles after that. Uh, you know, when we look at Garrett Gilbert, I didn't even know who Garrett Gilbert was <laughs> before this week, honestly. Um, I know that he had. Uh, been on the practice squad for the New England Patriots. He had come in, only had, what, three or four days to, to kind of get inserted into the offense. He actually didn't do that bad of a job. Yes, you know, he played like a practice squad quarterback because that's who he is. But he didn't lose us the ball game. You know, he, he didn't turn the ball over. He, he was 20 of 31, 194 yards passing. I uh, did have a couple of um, uh, passes to uh, Terry McLaurin. McLaurin, again, kind of a quiet night. That one nice big catch downfield. Another small catch for a first down after that. We just could not get Terry McLaurin involved in the offense. Uh, Antonio Gibson got hurt again last night. His toe um, only had 15 rushes for 26 yards. 
Uh, Jarrett Patterson didn't do much better, honestly. He had four carries for 20 yards. Uh, you know, the running game just did not get going. And again, whenever that you have a tough night running, you're not going to win the football game. I mean, you know, you may call me, okay, you're stuck in the 80s, Greg, but I've seen this. I've been watching football for 40 years, and nine times out of ten, the team that's going to win the football game is the one that has the ability to run, and the Eagles just wore our defense down. I mean, they did. They wore the defense down. The defense just struggled. Um, you know, it was great to get Montez Sweat back. You know, he, he did he did make a little difference, I, I would think, uh, but still that offensive or I should say defensive line was just um, – they, they just could not stop the running. Couldn't stop the running, couldn't stop Jalen Hurts. You know, the linebackers last night, horrible. Just uh, not a very good night for Cole Holcomb. Uh, Jamin Davis have just, you know, for the most part, I've tried to be patient with Jamin Davis, but I've really, you know, he's a first-rounder. You expect first-round players to come in and to be difference makers. And Jamin Davis just not, he, he's not been a difference maker. Uh, that's just the, the long and short of it. Uh, so, you know. Not been very happy with Jamin Davis. Um, our secondary last night, uh, William Jackson got hurt again. Uh, we didn't have Fuller last night. We didn't have Curl. Uh, I think Curl, honestly, he's a difference maker. Cameron Curl was in there. I think that some of these passes would have been shut down. Cameron Curl is like one of our best best players in our secondary. I'm just going to say it. You know, he, he's one of my favorite players. Um, but the defense overall, the defense lost this game for us. Um, you can't – it would be very easy to blame it on, on Gilbert. And certainly uh, Garrett, Garrett Gilbert didn't play as well as what maybe a Taylor Heineke would or Kyle Allen, but he played okay. He didn't lose us the, the football game. He did – take a couple of sacks that I felt uh, he should not have taken. But, I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> you know, the guy wasn't even on this team a few days ago. And here he is. He gets called by the Washington football team, fly out to Philadelphia to, to play a game because we need a warm body there at quarterback. I mean, you know, <laughs> what do you expect? Uh, Eagles fans, yes, you know, um, I was certainly giving them a lot of lip in my last video, and they were giving it right back to me. I mean, of course they would. You know, I was giving them lip on on uh, Twitter as well, you know, because, hey, honestly, why would they, you know, they were all complaining about this game getting moved. And then, you know, I was like, well, only thing you have to do is beat us. And that's what they did. They beat us soundly. And so now, you know, it's all the talk of, you know, where your team has no name and all of this. And, and uh, you know, you couldn't even beat us uh, getting the game moved and all that. Well, yeah, you know, we still were suffering from the sea, right? Um, we didn't have our starting quarterback last night. We didn't have our second best quarterback last night. I mean, and technically, I guess we haven't had our first best quarterback all year long. I mean, you know, um, I know there are a lot of people that were saying, wait a minute, Taylor Haneke is out because of the C. Um, Kyle Allen is out because of the C. What happened to Ryan Fitzpatrick? I mean, could we not have activated him off of IR? And I think... He's still not ready to play. Uh, and I think he was on IR for the entire season. And I'm not sure that even if he was ready to play, I'm not sure if we were legally allowed to activate uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Having said all that, you know, uh, it, it was tough sledding. It was a lot to ask for this team to, to win. Certainly as this game progressed or as, as this game started, I was getting high hopes. I was starting to believe, hey, maybe we can pull this out. And then, you know, the Eagles kind of 
uh, simmered down a little bit and started playing smash mouth football. And I knew at that point, I was like, yeah, uh, unless that we start tightening this up and stopping the run, we're going to be in for a long night. We just did not stop the run at all uh, the entire night. So now off to Dallas on Sunday night. Uh, I guess the only reprieve is Washington is not having to play at 1 o'clock on Sunday. They're playing Sunday night. So that's a few extra hours, I guess, but, you know, no time to rest, or maybe is a little bit time to rest. You know, we, we can think of it like this on the bright side. Uh, the players that we desperately need back from the uh, C list, um, hopefully we will have for Sunday night, and they'll, they will have been fresh because they didn't play on Tuesday, uh, but also they will not have practiced either. So... Either way you look at it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be another tough game, and it's just, quite frankly, it's a game that Washington has to win, and it's going to be a very tough game. But do I think that Washington can win these last three games? Anything's possible. I mean, these are NFC East games. There's always a chance. You, you can't predict how these games are going to go. Um, I, I will say how Washington played against Dallas the last time, it's going to be highly unlikely unless they're able to actually, you know, (laughs) correct the things that they got wrong, you know, with our last meeting. I feel like we can beat the the Giants, uh, but, you know, by that point it may not matter if we beat them at all um, because that's the last game of the season. We will see the Eagles again. I guess the the bright side on that is we should have at least Kyle Allen or Taylor Heineke as quarterback at that point, hopefully. Um, And it will be a home game. It will be the last home game of of this season. So there's always a chance that, you know, we could pull out those two games. The the Dallas game's going to be interesting. It's another another primetime game. So let's see what happens. You know, for the most part, Ron Rivera seems to have his teams ready for prime time. Didn't have them ready last night. Uh, that could also contribute to a lot of the, uh, you know, position coaches being out, uh, being on the C list as well. Hopefully, we get some of those coaches back. Folks, it was just a bad game last night. Got to put it aside. You know, congrats to the Eagles. Congrats to their fans. Um, you know, live it up right now. You're you're still in the running for the playoffs. Better chance than what we have. But there's still three weeks left, so let's see what happens. All right, folks, take care. Have a great day. And guess what? Hell to the Washington football team. <laughs>